Nabuhai, Kamasakayo, and welcome to another video. So I've got another unboxing to do today. I've been kindly sent some more plants from Pure Plant UK once again to unbox and review on the channel. Five plants in here, and unlike last time, I do know what's in here this time. So before we start, I'd just like to thank Dorita from Pure Plant UK for sending these plants. And on the website, there is a summer sale on at the moment. If you enter the code SUMMERTIME at checkout, you'll get 20% off your order. So yeah, let's get this box open. So we have a note here. Dear Daz, I hope you will like the plants you selected for the review. I didn't have the Acanthocalyceum available, unfortunately, so I added some replacements instead. I hope the Echinoceras will settle down this time. Kind regards, Dorita. Yeah, the first Echinoceras I got didn't make it, unfortunately. No fault of pure plant or anything, it's just one of those things that can happen. But Dorita has kindly included a replacement for me. So actually, there is a few plants in here now that are extras with the Acanthocalyceum not being available. So I'm excited to see what those ones are. All very nicely packaged once again. So I'll get everything out of the box and then we can begin unwrapping. We'll start with the smallest and work our way up to the biggest. Ah nice, been after this one for a while. This is Labivia famatimensis. Fantastic looking plant. Some nice purple coloration in there as well. These get fantastic looking flowers on them as well. Nice healthy roots. Beautiful plant. Awesome start to the unboxing. Alright, next one. Ah, nice. So this is one of the extra ones. This is Fralia mammifera. I do already have a few of these that Catherine from Purple and Thorn sent me, but I certainly don't mind some more. Lovely Fralia, these ones. Lots of buds on it as well. And as I've said before about these plants, they're clystogamous, which means they don't need to be pollinated. And even if the flowers don't open, they'll set viable seed, which is a bonus. Very nice roots once again. Thank you, Dorita, for including this one. Right, third one. Ah, oh, nice, double header. Now you'd be forgiven for thinking this is a Gymnocalyceum, but it is in fact a Matukana. These get lovely golden yellow flowers on them, and I read as well the flowers on these ones stay open day and night. I've quite a few Matukana now, and this one is a lovely addition to the collection. Lovely roots again. Don't think I'll separate these, I'll leave them together. Right, next one. I think it's an unrooted cutting in here. It is indeed. Wow, those spines. I'm not going to touch this one because this is a tephra cactus, so it might have glockids on it. Amazing spines. Yeah, I've got a bit of a thing for tephra cactus at the moment. Ever since my friend Phil sent me a Geometricus, I've been wanting to get more of these plants. And there's several others I'm after. And there is another tephra cactus in this box too. This should root up pretty quickly as well. Alright, next one. Uh, 
Uh, this is the Echinoceros replacement. Looks just as nice as the first one. Might have a bud coming through there as well. Thank you, Dorita, for replacing this. Unlike some other Echinoceros, this one can be a bit more sensitive. I'm sure this one will be fine. This, of course, has an amusing name, Nipply Anus. And once again, a lovely root system. Right, two more. It's either this one or the last one I'm going to have to be extra careful with, as it's another Tephra cactus, which I do know has lethal glockids on it. Uh, this is the Tephra cactus smolinensis. So I'm definitely not handling this one. What an awesome looking plant that is. Kind of reminds me of something you'd see growing at the bottom of the ocean. Very happy to have this one. Tephra cactus do like a lot of sunlight as well. The more light the better. Their segments can grow long and thin if they don't get enough sunlight. So this one will be going in the greenhouse. Just show you the roots as well without getting a load of glockids stuck in my fingers. Pretty nice roots. I have noticed on tephra cactus they don't seem to have substantial root systems on them. And of course being a tephra cactus they are extremely drought tolerant plants as well. So you have to be a little bit more careful on the watering with these ones. Alright, final one. I already know what this is because I've seen the label. I do have one already but the one in here looks like it's going to be way bigger. Wow, that's fantastic. Thank you so much, Dorita, for including this. This is Ferrocactus corsessens, sometimes called the Blue Barrel Cactus. And you can see why. It has a lovely bluish colour to the epidermis. Lovely Ferrocactus, this one. Very easy to care for as well. I'd say this one is probably three times the size of my other one. Nice healthy roots again. Thank you so much again, Dorita. A lovely plant to end with. So that's the seven amazing plants from Dorita of Peel Plant UK. Thank you so much again. Beautiful, healthy plants. And once again, a few wishlist plants ticked off the list as well. So remember guys about the summer sale Peel Plant UK has going on right now. I think Dorita is going away soon as well. And I think she said the store will be closed for a little while. So if there's anything on the website you fancy adding to your collection, get your orders in before then. So as always, I shall get these all nicely potted up and show some more footage at the end. Thank you once again to Dorita of Peel Plant UK, and thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Hit that notification bell as well, so you know when I upload a new video. And you all be safe and well, and I shall see you next time. Salamat pot pa alam. Bye for now.